Hi, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Greg Benner with Keller Williams here in the Las Vegas area, um, serving all of Clark County. Um, today, let's take a look at the April 2023 real estate data provided by both the Las Vegas Real Estate Association and uh, Altos. Here we go. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, here we are with the Las Vegas Realtors Association data for the month of April 2023. This will give everybody an idea of uh, what's taking place here in the um, Las Vegas and surrounding areas um, for Southern Nevada. So we've got number of units sold April 2023, 1962, 1,962. A month prior, 2,361. And a year ago in the same month in April, 3,001. So we are down 17% month to month, and we're down 35% year over year in number of units sold. Now, uh, we'll look into maybe some reasoning on that here going forward. Let's take a look at this here. Here's our chart going all the way back to uh, January 1st of 2005. So you can see what's taking place. And uh, each one of these areas here is two-year span. So um, number of units sold. Here we are right there. And... Uh, Let's see. We're kind of historically um, at the um, bottom of the range here for three um, crazy times, as you can see. Let's take a look here at the medium price of units sold. So medium price of units sold, 430000 in April 2023, 425 in March 23 at 475 uh, one year ago in April. So that's a uh, almost 10% drop year over year and a 1.2% uh, gain month over month. Um, I don't know, might as well take a look at that right there so we can see our incredible run up from 2012 all the way up to June. Uh, looks like uh, May, June area here is where we peaked in 2022 when rates, mortgage rates started to rise. And uh, we had a little bit of a dip there, and we plateaued off. And as you can see, we're up uh, slightly here. A little nudge up again after this plateau um, happening since about November. There we go. Let's take a look at number of available units without offers. So that was the inventory on the market right now. So we have 3,737 homes on the market that do not have uh, offers on them. They're not pending status right now. And um, a month prior, we had 4,200. And if we look at one year ago, we had 2,400. So we're down 11% month over month. We're up 53% from a year ago. Let's take a look at that, what that chart looks like here. Okay. So we are right here, April, 2023, 4,000. That is a um, number of available units. So uh, compared to uh, the previous couple of years and the really wacky real estate market we've had here, all the money flooded into the system, you can see that we are heading back down in that area right there. So back in September, that seemed to be the uh, high point for the past few years, which was uh, pretty much on par with uh, pre-crazy stuff. So there we are. And let's see where we are here. We've got medium price of available units without offers. That's 540,000. Previous month, 515, and a year ago, 590. So you can see how that's changed. Let's go down to number of new listings that have come on the market. So in April, we had 2,451. 
And in March of 23, we had 2565. So not that much of a change. I made a little bit there. And uh, a year ago, we had 3667. So folks were um, trying to get those houses on the market and cash out while they could. And some other folks were holding back, as we all know. And uh, last year in June, as uh, mortgage rates really started to uh, to move up, a whole lot of listings hit the market all at once. So we were down 33% year over year in April, down 33%. Let me see what that chart looks like here. Up and down, up and down, up and down. So we'll see um, what happens here. Now, as you can see... Um, as we get into springtime and up through July, um, yeah, up into August here on a uh, yearly basis, December up to uh, May here, December up to August. So um, usual downtime in December and then a uh, run up up until July, August time. We'll see what happens this year with um, new listings coming on the market. It'll be interesting to see because it's kind of uh, gone up, down, up, down. We'll see if we get that trajectory going um, through July or August here. We're almost there now, so let's have to see what happens. Okay. New listings we had there. Um, Medium price of new listings, 474 compared to 470 the prior month and 500,000 a year ago. So that uh, median price of new listings is down 5% year over year. Months of effective inventory. So in order to uh, run through the number of um, single family homes for sale in the market at the rate that they have sold in April, it would take 1.9 months to run through those. And we can see the prior month, it was 1.8 months. And a year ago, less than a month, it was 0 0.8 months. So we're down or we're up rather 7.2 percent month over month and we are up 134.2 percent year over year 1.9 i mean that's uh that's not month that's not much uh inventory to have <clears throat> time on the market zero to 30 days 53.6 of closed sales in april were on the market for 30 days or less, so more than half of them. And that had been um, going down for quite some time. Um, if I remember correctly, we'll take a look at the chart in a minute. We were just below 50% the prior month, and it was a whopping 87% the year before. Let's take a look at that chart. Okay, so time on the market, 30 days or less. As we can see here, uh, the bottom was January 2023 with 38.5%. So that the um, lower the chart goes here, um, the longer homes are remaining on the market. So back here, you can see that um, in April of uh, and May of uh, 22, houses were flying off at almost a 90% clip right there. 90% of uh, sold homes had been on the market for less than 30 days. We remember when everyone was clamoring for the homes. They were just going off of the off market like that. Okay, so that provides us with a quick glance at the Las Vegas market. Um, folks, we're going to take a look at the Altos uh, results here in a moment. Um, don't forget, if um, you know anybody looking to buy or sell a house anywhere in the U.S., um, Please uh, give them my name, give me a call, and pass along their info. Um, Keller Williams is the um, largest real estate firm in the world. Um, we have more agents than anyone else, and uh, we can reach out anywhere and set you up with someone um, experienced um, who knows what they're doing um, to help you, your family, your friends out anytime you like. If you're looking for um, – real estate help here in the Clark County area, the Southern Nevada area, by all means, give me a buzz. You can check me out here at um, lvhomeconsultant.com right there, lvhomeconsultant.com. We would appreciate hearing from you.
Okay, ladies and gentlemen, here we are with Altos Research. Um, my subscription covers uh, the Las Vegas, Nevada area. Let's take a look at the uh, market, market action index here in um, this um, gas gauge form, as I call it. We can see the red area is uh, this month's data, and the gray area is the previous month's data. So we are in a seller's market still. Haven't been out of it in quite some time. Um, not, not deeply into it, but, uh, we are into a seller's market and you can see that we have, um, moved up here further into a seller's market month over month. It says home sales continue to outstrip supply and the market action index has been moving higher for several weeks. This is a seller's market. So watch for upward pricing pressure in the near future if the trend continues. So um, let's see what we've got here. Let's see what's affecting this as much. So here we're going to look at the seven-day average. Um, I don't like to look at the 90-day average. This is a bit more accurate as to what's happening today. So this is inventory levels here in the Las Vegas market. And we can see right here, um, Altos um, information is going to be slightly different than um, – LVR data and um, other um, information providers I use all have um, different actual numbers here than what you will see um, from each other. So uh, don't let that sway you. Uh, the graph is um, based off of their data. So it, um, it does apply to what's going on here um, in current times. So May 5, 2023 information, we are we have dipped on down here for quite some time. Uh, that was October 21st, um, the height of our inventory there for quite a while. And as you can see, um, combination of fewer homes hitting the market and uh, buyers pulling back, especially back here in this, uh, this area um, due to the um, mortgage rates and what they qualify for. So uh, that one-two combination, uh, whammy right there, has um, lowered our inventory levels down. <clears throat> Here we go from a year ago, May 6th. You can see we were a little bit lower. May 7th, a bit lower. And 2020, um, coming out of the shutdowns. If we were coming out by now, maybe we weren't. Maybe that was uh, June. I I forget. We were a bit higher. And as you can see, back in 19, spring of 19, on May 10th, we were quite a bit higher with a 5336 inventory, according to Altos Research. Okay, let's take a look here at the median list price. And right now they've got us at about 549. That's the seven-day average. A year ago, 595, about 600. Two years ago, 492. Back in 2020, 370. And it looks like in uh, 19, 350,000. So we have gone up a little bit of a cup handle here, I guess you'd call that. Let's take a look at the number of um, single-family homes with price decreases. Alrighty. Price decreases here. Properties with price decreases May 5th. 38% of the listings. If we go back to, um, looks like November, we were at about 63%. <clears throat> so today we are at 38%. A year ago, 25%. Two years ago, 16% had price decreases. Back in 2020, we were at 34%. Let's go back to 19. We were at uh, 44%. So that is um, 
meaning we have fewer price decreases than we had then. Okay, 5% had price increases this year. 9% a year ago. Two years ago, 13.8%. 13.7% rather. Um, three years ago, we had um, a little more than 4%. And uh, prior to the um, disaster stuff, 4%. Okay, folks, so there you go. That's our look at the um, Southern California area. Um, right now, um, we're in a good market. Um, it looks like um, we have probably seen uh, the... The last of the uh, Fed rate hikes uh, for a while. Um, that's the expectation here with that quarter point um, raise um, just about a week ago, I think, is when it was announced. Um, and it's expected that um, rates should be uh, coming down here later in the year for mortgages um, into the fives. Um, who knows? Um, we'll have to see what happens with a, a recession or anything like that. Um, some folks are calling for the recession. Some folks are saying, no, that's not going to come. Of course, if a recession comes, I expect rates to uh, be brought down again um, in order to help out um, getting the economy chugging along. Right now, they um, are still in the inflation fighting portion of this. And uh, Let's hope that they can bring that inflation down and uh, even things out, see if we can get folks uh, a little more affordability in the housing. Um, those folks who do have um, poor credit, hey, I've got a uh, great mortgage company I work with um, that helps folks out um, who's in, who are in that situation. And um, I have a couple of other lenders for anybody looking um see what they may qualify for um and, and if you think that um you know you need a little bit of help with your credit or what have you um they will also work with you and pinpoint exactly what you can do to um, help your credit out in a um fast time period as quickly as possible and um get you ready to purchase something but you gotta you gotta let me know you're looking for some help first um, reach out. Don't have any problem helping you out. We're always here to assist. Um, other than that, I hope you have a great month, and we'll do this again next month. Thank you so very much. Bye-bye.